and saw a 13 year old standing out there and got to take it got active real quick immediately straight r kelly timing he then no this is anime the villain timing bro they always fighting kids that and starts emoting back onto ozai now better Kelly though watching kai's streams and took get, get back, back nigga, nigga to a whole nother level what's good guys we got a new video from blank boy titled when the greatest avatar, Avatar Aang, retired Fire Lord Ozai to save the world. And bruh, I'm going to say that this is probably top two, and I it's not number two, Avatar moments, bruh. The whole story was building up to this point. And to me, they executed it perfectly. Everything going on built towards this like final battle. Even Azula's like downfall was just showing that the Fire Nation attacking and they got the comment and all that, but Aang and the crew, they showed up and showed out. Now, this is Blank Boy, so it's about to be good. Now, I need y'all to go to his channel, hit him with the goodness. That's like, comment, subscribe, share, lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit him with it. And if y'all enjoy my reaction, bro, do the same for your boy. Let's get to it. So it starts off showing Fire Lord Ozai soaking in the solstice, which is giving him a huge. Oh yeah, it was the solstice, right not the. Now. Wait, I thought it was the comet. Derived their power from the sun, waterbenders, the moon, the Demi Lovato crack. It's all a cycle. So he decides to turn <laughs> the entire place into dust, and look how he's cheesing while doing it. I've never pretty seen much burning the whole so land to ruin the world. This is right. top tier hating right here. Nigga, did I just catch you having fun? They says. Similar to Krishan Rock <laughs> playing out a room with her music, Aang is watching Fire yeah. Lord Ozai clear out all the wildlife while shooting these flames down. And knows as the For no reason. one thing to do. It's time to get busy. Dip yeah, out, bro. It's not get safety. active on him. He uses earthbending to shoot off five rocks. And see, this is just how Avatar Aang is such a nice guy. Because he could have shot those rocks directly at Ozai to turn his ass into a Stanley. But instead damages the ship, throwing off off Ozai's aim so he can stop destroying the bird's home. I already know some pigeon came back to his crib and saw his entire family turned into straight KFC and then hitting the ship with firebending to blow it up. So this match preview stare off was the first time in the entire show they yeah. were face to face with one another. Aang this entire time was Like, I, I'm gonna say it though. I'm gonna say it. Aang's intimidation face is like a, a one, bro. I am not... The most I'm intimidated by is that he's the avatar and he sees me as an opponent. But the actual like personality of Aang, and it's because he's an air nomad, bro. They're pit, they're pacifists, they're peaceful. But like, like, look, you need that Kiyoshi, bro. I know Kiyoshi's like uh, intimidation face. I know that had to send like fear in the hearts of your whole bloodline, your kids. Out of nowhere, randomly one day, just felt it on the same day. Like after the like 21, just felt training to defeat a faceless man to him. He probably instead just imagined the punching bags were his barber to release the anger out. And this man Ozai wasted absolutely no time. Saw a 13 year old standing out there and got to take it. Yeah, acted real quick. Immediately, straight R. Kelly timing. He then no, this is anime the villain timing, bro. They always fighting kids. Don't we can't forget Orochimaru was like 50 years old boxing with Sasuke. And bros built like the damn crimson chin. Ain't gonna lie, his physique is nice though, bro. Meanwhile, my son Ang <laughs> hasn't even hit puberty yet. How does Fire Lord Ozai even explain this to his homies? I heard the ops was calling me pussy. I'm about to pull up on them right now. Oh yeah, what's good now, little nigga? Heard you was talking real greasy. Lean your shit. Me 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 me. So oh, I forgot about Vegeta. Funeral. You'll be seeing the other in his twenties beating up a like congratulations. A five year old. This is how you know Ozai is really a demon, bro. There's no way he just congratulated Ang for about to being murdered. You be all yep. in the reading and shit. That's some real good shit. Congratulations, nigga. Did you just congratulate me for reading? But then Aang starts trash talking back. Huey, as I've gotten older, yes, we got we, you got to congratulate kids for reading, bro. Because not a lot of kids read nowadays, and it's showing, bro. The school system letting a few of y'all down. I, hey, look, I ain't, if you felt hurt, just know if this shoe fits or a hit dog a holler, that's the better one. <laughs> I want to see the world burn. <laughs> and then starts emoting, showing off his firebending with this new buff to all his attributes he got from the solstice. 
It's time to get active. Ozai sends a flame shockwave to which Aang jumps over and sends a giant rock back at him. Right. Meanwhile, Toph is front row watching, I mean, smelling or listening to the fight. Proud as hell of Aang right now using the moves she taught him. Ozai fires Wait, did, over did she actually, like, comment on his moves? Because... She, if she's in the airship, she can't feel the vibrations. To which Aang meets him in the middle for a huge collision. So now it's really <laughs> heating up. <laughs> Aang blocks ugly for that. his attacks, lands, and then blocks You're the ugly for that. Whoever the dude was that first said, don't fight fire with fire, he lied. MLK had niggas just standing there catching an ass whoop and talk about some, no, don't worry, bro. They're going to love us one day. Trust. Kicks the boulder at Ozai, and then does 14,000 flips to get away from the next attack. He and this bitch flipping like Gabby Douglas. I'll yep. still never forgive her for doing this Dougie on live TV. What Sent us back that? 30 years hey. with this shit. Tries to wash him in a wave and misses, but then just continues to run like a bitch. I don't know what's angry. So, I always had this, this like, question about this whole little battle, right? So, I know that all firebenders got a buff from this event. Didn't Aang? So, Aang, to me, Aang should have like two buffs going on in general. The Avatar buff, because he is the Avatar. And then right now, the I, I forgot if it's the Solstice or the Comet, but whatever. That buff as well. He should be able to match the Fire Lord. I mean, maybe because the Fire Lord is only bending his fire, so all his attributes are in fi fire, but... At the same time, the Avatar is supposed to be able to master, or Ozai is supposed to be, he's got all his stats in there. And the Avatar should be able to have all his points and all his stats. You are literally the master of every element. So I don't see why. Things plan here to tire him out. Maybe that would work if this was the Lizzo boss fight, but he's built like an Olympian. That is not yeah. going to work. He picks up a boulder. He got like at least three hours of fighting. With it. Just leaves it there and runs away. Aang clearly got CTE throughout this fight already. Look at his face. What the hell are you so shocked about? I know. To you that a firebending firebending? From your non-attacks? Hmm. Whoa. I've never spoken to a girl before, so why do I still have no bitches? Aang blocks the attack from Ozai and then starts camping behind this rock to block the next attack. He then jumps away and finally, Aang Just running, to bro. stop doing cardio and actually get on offense. Jumps away and then charges back in, kicking a giant rock at Ozai that catches Aang lacking from this side. My boy Aang gotta turn up his mic volume so that he can hear these footsteps. Cause look at his face. All right, so he Stanley. The Heisman on the giant fireball, but it was way too powerful, and he collapses. Rolling Why didn't you try to? So you know, you hardly ever see Aang or like any Avatar bend both of them at the same time, bro. Cause honestly, I don't know. Uh, it's a, it's a few logics that go into these. I don't know how it worked in the Avatar. I forget now. Couldn't you bend? fire and air to make a bigger flame attack because i know in naruto in naruto i remember that that was a thing this is just sitting here thinking bro. damn there's no way that can be it fetiwa music career lasted longer than this fight <laughs> ang puts on rock armor and then starts eating flames straight to the that face. ain't gonna work like now azula bro off his bag a little bit now he shows off his water skills Shooting a water mist attack as Ozai dips out the way like an anime dad. Charging up lightning, shooting it at Aang, which he blocks with a mini tornado. Ozai peeped that Aang has a perfectly good counter for it and said, We, we do, do not, not care. care. Just right. starts spamming a bunch yeah. of lightning bolts at Aang, trying to treat him like a bikini bottom resident. Aang lands and look at him now. Ozai done fucked with the drip, bro. Oh, if yay yep. or fashion oh, niggas would call this right. swag, though. Takes in the light. But it's not, bro. Kanye's fashion, I don't care what nobody say, is some of his garbage, bro. The ripped up sweaters. And redirects it, pointing it right at Ozai's face. And I'm thinking, oh yeah. You should have hit him with it, bro. Ass, but you nope. should have hit him, bro. He gets soft and decides to shoot it in the air instead. I'm so disappointed, bro. He literally had it. Why'd you stop? You know oh, Kiyoshi was so screaming. Sorry. I forgot there was some bitch niggas in here. And he gets up beating the Jude Bellingham celebration. That's an iconic clip. With a wall of earth causing an explosion. But that wall that Aang put up is as strong as one of the ones from Attack on Titan because it did not protect him from shit. 
Aang is knocked the fuck out and goes flying off the cliff. He wakes up and in an attempt to not go out like Mufasa, uses his waterbending skills to catch himself and land safely. Looks up and sees Ozai coming right at him. Ozai has been on straight go this entire time. Yeah, fight. chase down, immaculate. Is challenge his kids to boxing matches they didn't know they were a part of and sit in the dark like a creep doing a whole lot of nothing. He's been fiending you gotta to catch up. some action for a while now. Aang just turns on the jets, skedaddling away, putting himself inside of a cocoon. He done Why got didn't... this shit from Gar. I forget. He was next, just on water, right? Straight go this entire He was, okay. Fight. I guess I couldn't get back to the water. Until this point, keep doing a whole lot. He was just on water, bro. Submerge yourself in an air bubble 20 feet down, catch a breath, then get back into Out it. Out of nothing. He's been fiending to get into some action for a while now. Ang just turns on the jets, skedaddling away. Yeah, he's on water. Inside of a cocoon. He done got this shit from Gara, and we know what happened to his ass. The script yep. writers having Avatar Aang in the biggest moment, performing like a 36 overall, got my chest hurting. I'm in straight <laughs> tears right now. Aang is camping inside the ball, and his lack of age and experience is really showing as Ozai walks up and just starts letting him have it with a barrage of insults. Come out so I can send you to a Juice World concert with the rest of your family. All girls Damn. are the same face ass. Ozai can't Damn, get it open, bro. so he hits a step back and charges up his fire, Kamehameha. Got my son Aang in this hole, sweating cooking bullets. He knows if he's let Ozai cook right now. Once he gets to the spirit world with all the other avatars, they're gonna be side eyeing him, calling him a fraud. He never wanted this responsibility. No, no, it's gonna be you. I'm gonna keep saying, bro. I'm gonna keep saying. Kiyoshi ain't gonna be side eyeing him. She gonna have him yanked up talking all the shit, bruh. Cause you know she she is a savage, bruh. If it was Ozai versus her, she would already dog this man, put him in the ground, and then pro she probably would have shit on his grave. I know it ain't went lady like, but at the same time, she was like seven feet tall, bruh. She wore like size 15. Black Air Force. But I believe. Aang can save the world. Wait, wait, wait. I don't wanna fucking hear it. You're 12 years old and bald. I'm doing you a favor, little bro. So Ozai just continues to full core press Aang with no success so far. So he spams some more, got Aang boiling in there. He gonna come out burnt to a crisp, black as hell. Ozai is clearly not holding back while well, that Aang avatar state. is. And all I'm gonna say is he's lucky it was Aang who was Avatar and not me. I would have started bloodbending bro the yep. second I laid eyes on him, have him crip walking right off the cliff. <laughs> but instead, my goat Aang is getting straight dog walked right now like the little boy that he is. So Ozai loads up a mini meteor and hits Aang's shield with it. And look at the light shining on Aang's face. I know that Aang's Looking like the sun. Is. Aang is clearly seeing the pearly white gates. That is it. He did not make it. Ozai keeps applying that pressure until Aang re-hurts his injury. And that right there was the worst mistake Ozai could have made. Aang yep. starts tweaking out, seeing mad shit from past avatars and stuff that's happening present day. Deciding now it's time to determine his future. Mm. Even Karuk got down, active at down. one point. One. Ozai walks up thinking shit is sweet. Wakey, wakey, little boy. And the way Aang mm. popped out of this rubble in the Avatar. Terrifying, story, bro. Oh, the tables have been turned. That's a horror yeah, scene moment. Fraud watch, but he about to make a better comeback than LeBron's hairline. Blocking Ozai's attack with a fraud watch, but he about to make. I just want to say, who got this high definition ass photo of LeBron? <laughs> They caught him in 4K for... Nah, that's 8K, bro. That's like a 100 megapixel camera. Jesus. Than LeBron's hairline. Blocking Ozai's attack with ease and blasting his ass mad far mm. away using airbending. Ozai goes flying away and look at the way his body is bent. Can I get a C for getting my shit clapped? <laughs> he goes tumbling and crashes his back into the wall. Got him on all fours hitting that Itachi Uchiha stance, which is actually very fitting because Ozai is also trying to solo squad making a genocide happen. Aang yep. flies over to where he's at and starts emoting back onto Ozai now. Better Aang though! watching Kai's streams and took get back nigga to a whole nother level. Thank you for that Kai Sinat. Indeed, word. <laughs> and then decides to start pulling in all four elements, earth, fire, wind, air, straight towards him. 
Hey, on a level that we've screen. never seen, bro. Looking at the screen, what is he cooking up right now? Makes Saturn around himself using an air bubble and a fire ring while hitting the Hey Arthur fist. I used to love that show, man. I remember me too. This was my favorite scene. Yo, my bro, sister bro, loved bro, it more than me, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yo, shut the fuck up, you bum ass nigga. Your dick don't even touch your belly button. Lower your tone. Pulls Damn. rocks all around him and then uses a water hula hoop to complete it. They shift over to show Ozai's reaction and his oh, eyes are wide open like he done seen a ghost. They show Aang and he's taking it all in on this. Time and ready to stand on business. No more monkeying around. Charges in at Ozai and got him spread out on the hood of the sphere. Got him looking oh, like he ready to say what's sphere. up to SpongeBob in the morning. And then shoots him dumb far away using airbending. And he catch right back up, not bro. Letting up. He shoots a fireball at him, blasting him way down. And flies He's like, that was a nice chase on you were doing. Then watch mine. And starts chipping away shards of earth so sharp that they're cutting down the literal rock cliffs. And at this point, Ozai's smart. He's realized that it's clipped, so he decides to hit the dash. Starts flying away because he's scared as hell. You can't get away Why from me. Wasn't bro just talking crazy a couple minutes ago? Yep. He's pulling the page straight out of Gohan's book. Aang pulls up to stop Ozai in his tracks, bending the wall shut right in front of him. I'm <clears> thinking maybe Ozai will make it through on some Maze Runner shit. The space nope. in the wall was tight as hell. I still don't understand how to this day he made it through there. Ozai ducks out of the yeah. way of the closing wall and Aang knocks him out of the way with a wave of water giving him a shower. I already know some of y'all just caught he a heart watched. attack at the word shower. He's you watched. One kid walking around smelling like straight grilled cheese sandwiches, aren't you? Ozai starts looking up and look at him. Bro looks like he's ready to cry. Is, Is there tears, tears bro? Come on, bro. You gotta get your water. And charges in. Got Ozai moonwalking backwards, trying to shoot back, but it does absolutely no damage. Nothing. So he does what any sensible person would do in this moment and hits the Black Father move, dipping out of there as quick as possible. He flew away so it's not gonna work, he didn't see him anymore. So I'm thinking, all right, he must have got away. But as he lands, he randomly kicks a flame into the air. And I'm thinking, oh man, Angdon gave this man PTSD and CTE. He's swinging at nope. the fucking wind now. Nope, but Ang nope, is there. Because Ang somehow caught up already, blocking the flames and chasing him down. But Ang is tired of having to chase down Ozai like the little bitch he is <laughs> so he sends off five flames that clearly got tracker because they're following him everywhere he tries to camp at I don't know how he's pulling this off I'd never seen this before it's the same way I it's the avatar bro that wears his headphones bro your ears are up here Ozai lands and copies Aang sending off three flames of his own but that shit is weak as hell last time I checked three is less than five that's quick yes yeah. so Aang is like let me get rid of this shit real quick using water Ozai to get up all in Ozai should have apologized, bruh. At this point, at this point, you're cooked, bruh. Apologize. Just just call off the whole invasion. Go retire. You're out in the countryside. That's all you can do. Because at, at this point, you're not winning this fight, bruh. This man is pretty much a god in y'all verse. It would take Boomy on the same level of energy. Um... I don't know who the strongest waterbender really was. Them and Aang, because he's the only airbender, all to work together to have a chance at surviving this. And then still, he's doing five flames to your three. Like, like, like uh Blank Boy said, three is less than five. The same, bro. It, I, I don't think that even at his at Ozai's max. Is he at the same equal power of firebending as Aang right now? Inside the flames and completely dispel them into thin air. I think Ozai started to watch the water and fire light show happening in the air and wasn't paying attention to the fight anymore because Aang catches him lacking with a gust of wind so powerful yep. it's slicing through fucking solid rock. I've seen you know how long Ozai it takes for that to actually happen? Real soon. So Ozai, after your fight with the Avatar, what's your plans to get reelected as the Fire Lord? I'm not gonna be here. Aang manages to catch up to Ozai and uses a water whip to tie up all around him. Pulls him yep. out of the sky and on some Bruce versus Loki shit. This was before Thanos had retired his ass and made him the Unincredible Hulk. Slams him down mad hard onto the ground while standing over bro. And Aang is making sure- I love how Aang knew he could take rematch. it too. No run back for you nigga. Pass the sticks to the next person. Trapping his hands and legs so that he can't move. Hovering over him got Ozai shitting himself. I already know those Ozai 
saying shippers going crazy right now hearing that sentence. Listen, Listen here, here bitch ass, ass nigga, nigga. It's, it's time, time to die, die. and I'm, I'm shaving, shaving your head bald, bald too. too. And Aang has been doing him so dirty <laughs> for the past few minutes, I low-key feel bad. Peep his face. Bro went on, are you strong in the fifth and failed. Aang pressed his triangle and circle to activate his finisher using all four elements, fire, earth, water, and I air. I really wish you would have hit him with this, bro. whip slashing down to deliver the kill shot. But Aang starts to think to himself, man, what would Monkey also think? I can't do this. I can't send him to the underworld. So as he's like a you can, away bro. From putting up the Victory Royale banner, he just dispels of the whip entirely. Aang knows he's got him beat. My jersey is going up in the rafters for the GOAT avatars regardless. I don't have to kill him. Lowering all the way down. You are 12 and you did all this. Shackles. I don't know if Aang for some reason thought Ozai was about to be a good guy after beating his ass. No, I could change him. This ain't no Naruto. An abusive relationship talking about, I see something in him. Bitch, what you see a rematch? Hold right. your like a man, nigga. And let me take you to your cell. Man, fuck you. You still a bitch. Ozai is clearly a man with no honor and no integrity. Tries to sneak Aang, but Aang senses that shit and catches mm. one arm and traps the other. Toph taught him well. To crane down both of Ozai's arms to get him on his level. Presses down on his chest and his forehead, sucking the life out of him to take away his powers so he can never harm anyone ever again with it. Aang was a dog in this fight, bro. I wish he would have. I wish he would have fought with more like ferocity, bro. With more killing intent. Because yeah, it's good that you took his bending away. That's all fine and dandy. But Aang, sometimes you gotta show them what would happen in the worst case scenario. But this man was committing genocide. He literally killed every one of, of the other airbenders, where all of your people got killed by uh his family, bro. At this point, I would have had I would have had to do it. You got to get out of here. You going to the afterlife to show that Avatar is nothing to mess with, and then everybody else that might pop up, you be merciful to them. But ain't no way I would have let him live of all people after everything he's done to look at his kids look at Zuko Zuko is your friend I know I know he tried to kill you and capture you a few times but he is your friend and look at what his dad did to his own son's eye bro like if I had a kid I don't care what they do I can't I'm not gonna ever tr permanently scar their face it's and especially purposely because you know something accidents happen some people might have like scarred their kids a little bit. I'm I'm not gonna blame them for that. It might if it's an accident, yeah. But he purpose purposefully did it, bro. And then look at Azula. Azula took all of his negative energy that he nutted out that day, and it just it just like came together and created a crazy being that is her. And he he enabled her to stay crazy, bro. Yeah, nah, you got to get him out of here for what, all everything that he done did. But look, I'm going to end it here. If y'all enjoyed this, go to Blank Boy. Hit him with the goodness. That's like, comment, subscribe, share. Lock it in by hitting the bell. That is the goodness. Hit him with it. And if y'all enjoy my reaction, do the same for your boy. This has been your boy, Reggie Wolf. I am signing out. Peace.